Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Design Centric Sim City. My name is Street Toaster, and uh, to be honest, this is the fourth time I did this intro for this video. I just I can't do it right for some reason. So uh, yeah, I'm just coming clean, and apparently this this is a it's a better one. So we're back at our town of Fishing Valley, which is we where we were last, and um, I have uh, I have some comments from from you uh, the viewers uh, on the previous episode. Uh, I'm gonna go through them real quick so we can get uh, moving and you know and build some some cool stuff. But first of all, let me zoom in so you can see all the cool traffic of of the town just you know coming in. Uh, the cheese of Ari was saying that uh, it's uh, impractical and a waste uh, to it, it maybe use uh, have al alternate mega towers and height, um, but it will. I mean, he says that it would look cool. Uh, I mean. Yeah, I think it will look cool too, but uh, only if I could put crowns. The only problem is that I cannot put crowns unless, uh, unless I have eight levels, which is uh, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, maybe we can have Mega Towers reach up to I don't know level six on the on the four corner ones. Maybe I don't know. By the way, we're all already like right out of uh, being poor, basically. Uh, we're really close to making a profit, an hourly profit at least. Uh, let me continue with the comments. Uh, Danilo Sadinsky uh, was saying that uh, I don't need the industrial area uh, because of the uh, office floors and the mega towers. Uh, well, that is true, but uh, the reason why I included the, the industrial area, it's because I want to, I know there's a lot of unfulfilled orders in the different cities. So I kind of want to start manufacturing things and, you know, take them there, which uh, reminds me that I need to put a trade depot somewhere in the city. So I'm going to do that in, in a few seconds. And then, um, well, Elliot Simpson was also pointing out that I need a bus terminal. So thank you for reminding me because I completely forgot about that. And uh, Willie Chalmers III uh, was saying that uh, what's up with all the four way intersections? Actually, uh, after, I think someone, I mean, I have no uh, way of, uh, you know, proving this, but after update, I think it was six or seven, when the when the traffic like became like seriously improved, uh, I was told by someone close to the development team that now actually having four way intersections help uh, helps the agents uh, actually move faster around the city because they will analyze different options. So it's not, it's not the worst to have four-way intersections everywhere. I guess we'll see once we have like real traffic flowing in and out of the city, but uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. And uh, yeah, th those are the comments uh, that I wanted to address. So uh, let me let me get started because I also want to start tackling the rail part of the, of the city in, in this episode if I can. So uh, before I forget, let me plop all the things that are critical to the development of the city. I think this is a great spot for the bus terminal. Let me see if it's properly centered. There we go. I think we, we're going to need some uh, bus stops all around the city, but should not be a problem. Let's put uh, all the different uh, garages. There we go. Eight garages. Let's put a sign. I think the sign makes more sense on this side because this is where the avenue actually well yeah because otherwise you won't be able to see it because the hospital will block it if i put it facing this direction but that that looks great actually so um let's see what else can we do uh yes the uh, train depot let's do that do the train depot real quick because i want to get a lot of uh, building done in this in this episode i know that's that's the fun part of this game and I know that's uh, what most of you like, as well as I do, so. Uh, the reason why I'm looking for a spot here is because I think it, it will be an easier access to the entrance of the city, but I guess at the same time, it will make a mess, because both traffic coming from the industrial into the trade if I put it here, it will clog this whole area. So maybe, yeah, maybe I should keep it near the industry, that will save uh i can't fit it there man okay uh i can do do i want to do i want to put this right next to the mega tower i don't think it should be that bad actually uh let's just center it that to me is important so 
for now we only have a freight uh a freight uh what, what's this called freight shipping warehouse this doesn't look like a warehouse at all i mean this kind of does but like i would imagine a warehouse be even bigger a lot or at least this whole thing with the roof but i guess it doesn't make sense because you, you know the game wants you to see what what the hell is going on in there so let's just add a bunch of trucks i think that will be good love this mod that helps you like chain plop things Perfect. Uh, let's put a sign, of course. And, uh, oh, yeah, we need to connect this to the, our train tracks somehow. And uh, I mm, I might have... Uh, I think I should have left some room for that. Okay, we might bulldoze a bit of this. You know me. You know me. Uh, to accommodate for the um, accommodate the, the space for the station and the tracks and whatnot. So um, for now, I think it, it works. Let me see. Let's get... Um, do we need anything else right now? Oh, yeah. Talking about resources. In the last episode, I asked you what, what should I do? Like, should I mine this? Should I uh, do Omega Co again? I had... I received very, very mixed... Uh, comments about that like no one i think all the comments like sort of contradicted each other uh so <laughs> i thought you were gonna help me with that but uh, i guess you didn't so i will have to figure out myself i mean just for the sake of of like getting you know just trying all the different features of the game i might i might start mining and not do omega co but i'm not sure yet so i'll, I'll i might wait on that just maybe another episode we'll see we'll see uh, in the meantime, well, is there anything else that I was uh, forgetting? Uh, we have the bus terminal, we have the trade depot. I think we should be fine for now. Uh, yeah. I think so, yes? No? Maybe? Perhaps? I think it would be a good time to actually close this up as well. And just have all the three... It kind of looks like a clover leaf. Hmm, yeah, let's do that real quick. We can change it later. If we feel like... We don't need it. So let's go all the way here. Let's click on this uh, road. Just like so. I also um, received several comments about uh, Cities of Tomorrow uh, and some of you not you know, liking it very much, which is understandable. I mean, it's, it's an interesting mod, but... Um, I feel like Vanilla SimCity, yeah, it's definitely nicer to play with. So, uh, what I'm thinking is, for you not to get bored, the next city that I will do, uh, it will probably be uh, Vanilla. In, actually, not Vanilla, because one of the things I actually uh, wanted to build for a while, and let me actually do stuff while I talk, um, is uh, use the... Uh, what's What was the name of it? The... The... Oh, wow, what do you call these? I can't remember. I have the the tip of my tongue the um like the european sets uh i've never built a city like that at all kind of like uh, what sad did in his uh, series uh so maybe maybe the next city will be like a theme german or french or british so uh you know what you, you can tell me in the comments um what do you think uh what do you think i should build uh, next and i mean if you're okay with that i think uh, that would be a good idea and and honestly i haven't tried any of those things i'm talking about this by the way uh, where is it? I think it's under culture. Like, if I plop this, it will convert everything to, like, British style. If I plop this, the same with French, uh, German, and, uh, well, this, these are German as well. Yeah, pretty much those three. I think it's German, French, and, uh, British. So, I think that would be a good idea. And also, I mean, remember, those are, uh, like, medium, high wealth, medium density buildings. So, I think, uh... It will sort of create a city similar, like uh, like this one, the Metal and Flats one. But it will be like like really like nice and pretty. We can even plop some casinos there. Uh, I know some of you have been uh, wanting me to do like an entertainment or tourist kind of city. I think it will be perfect if we do like a French city or a British city or a German city with a bunch of casinos in there. So yeah, just you know, with your thought, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And uh, okay, let's get some real going here otherwise i'm just like not doing anything and talking a lot for no reason oh man i wish i could delete this because it's right in like a really annoying spot 
and on top of that I get this weird transition so wait if I do this actually wait uh -huh. let me go all the way here can I get rid of uh, three by three let's do four by four and see how this uh, connects I hope it connects well Come on, connect! Why won't you connect? I think I need one more on this side. Let's just give that a try. And use the proper tool. There we go. I might be too close to the edge of the map here, so I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there we go. All right, that sort of works. So I have, I have a few ideas. I think I want three, or at least two, maybe three if we have the time lines spread out around the city. So, um, I mean, this this whole season has been very train-centric, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you think about it. And uh, maybe this would be a good spot to come in at an angle, maybe? We'll see. Uh, we're gonna do proper curves, don't worry. This is just me planning ahead. So maybe we get rid of this. And, uh, do something like that. This should branch out somewhere, like, around here, maybe. So this line can maybe go under and come up somewhere here. Hmm. Usually, like, old, old towns, sort of, uh, like, special rural areas would spring is, is that the right word uh, basically it will grow based on the train station the st train station will be first in, in town and then uh the city will grow around it so if you put a, a train station in the middle uh i think um i think uh it's uh well you know will be will be nice will fit nice by the way i'm liking this a lot this layout this ends weird here i need to fix this somehow uh, maybe we can have a diagonal coming in or something. Oh, we'll, we'll take care of this in this episode, hopefully, if we have the time. Uh, let's continue this way for now. Now, where do I want my station? That's a pretty good question. I think this is the best best spot for the station. I mean, we have this road here. Uh, we do a little, you know, switcheroo kind of trick and put her around and then have uh, the train track sort of come from, like, from under the mega tower. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, yeah, we're going <laughs> to relocate the trade board and the bus terminal. How about that? Isn't that surprising how I changed my mind like a minute after I'd done the thing? You know me. This is this is how how you get uh this is the only way I don't know if this is the absolute uh or the most efficient way of doing things, but that's just how it helps me build cool stuff. Just uh, bulldozing everything a million times until it, I reach a point where I'm like happy with the results. So let's plop the station here. It doesn't matter if it's center or not because what we need is another train connection from here and from here. Now delete this and uh, delete this. And hopefully everything will fit nicely and I hope that I can tunnel under this otherwise I think I have enough room for that we'll see we'll see we'll see uh, but I'm actually excited because I mean I, I wish the game had like it would be really awesome if they release like a, an expansion pack that it's like trains and like a lot of like you know like proper rail connections and whatnot that would be amazing like I would buy that like like that instantly and you didn't see me, cl you know, click my fingers, but that's what I did, I promise. All right, we get a glitchy intersection, but it's no big deal, no big deal. All right, let's connect this here, and maybe, uh -huh, can we tunnel under? Ah, so close, okay, so I think we need to maybe do that. Sloping on the tunnels is really picky. I think, I think we got it. Is it like perfectly centered? There we go. How about that? 
I love it. I love it. I do love it indeed. Okay, so let's uh, connect this properly now. Get rid of these. And this is a pretty smooth curve. Let's actually let's make it just slightly smoother. All right. I don't know what you think about that, but I I kind of love it. I think it's looking great. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's continue this way. Just do that and go under. Oh, we might not have a whole lot of room in here. Actually, we do have a lot of room in here. Uh, we might want to be a bit closer to the edge here, even though we have more room on this side. That is looking amazing. I love it. Okay, uh, I think that so this two will sort of connect here. Actually, we can have a station here somehow. No, no, because we're gonna have one in the middle. In fact, I, I should put that right now in place. Which means that I will have a... Wow, look at the streets are like lining up perfectly. Uh, I don't know if I can have intersections right there. Yeah, that is... That's going to be a problem. Unless I can figure something out. If I go only like, like half a tile. Can I maybe do this? I might have to tunnel under or just actually go over this road. Uh, nope. Oh, <laughs> this might be an issue here. How can we... Okay, I'll, I'll come back to this. I want to get the rail part done. I'm sure we can find a fix for this. Not a big deal. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll take care of that in a minute. So let's continue with our rail. Uh, I would go all the way to the edge of the map as a straight line, and then come here. What is this like weird dirt around? Why are my cables not flowing? Uh, trains will lose power in there, I think. Let's see. Do we want? Actually, we could have come here and go under and curve and have like a... Oh, that would have been cool. Can we do that and have a station here and something else here? <laughs> let's just let's just give it a try. I want to see how this looks. So let's get rid of this tunnel momentarily. Let's just leave one tile over there. Uh, what we do need is... Uh, some train uh, track references here. So let's do that. Just like so. Let's put the train station. Bam. And uh, let's just go like this. So what happens if I curve this in this fashion and tunnel under? Ooh, that that's actually not bad. At all. Wow, kind of like that. Let me get rid of this. Oh, that that is staying. That is absolutely staying. <laughs> I love that. Uh, we can even do this uh, here. Actually, no, we cannot because there's goddamn city hall. Sorry, no, didn't mean to say that. Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I think uh, the rail must go. Uh, must go at a diagonal here, maybe, or just go straight into here and continue. Actually, yeah, you know what? This is what we need to do here. Which, it's not going to be as pretty and, like, symmetric and everything, but it will still look nice. So, let's get this here and this here. So, this is where we want the angle of attack, per se, to join the rest of the network. Let's do the straight, straight tool. Let's go over here, get rid of that, and come to here. Oops. You really don't want to make me. All right, there we go. Oh, that works. Oh, uh, we're we're gonna smooth this out a bit. So don't worry. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you and the station, for you as well. And uh, let's continue this way. 
let's see, where do we end up here? It's too close to... Let's just leave it like that for a moment, because I want to connect this somehow. Maybe if I go at an angle here, and this connects here, and this rail sort of... <laughs> or maybe this just, just moved to the side, and this whole thing loops around, so we have the two tracks. And uh, we can even put another station here. Actually, we can put a station here and a station here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just put one here. I want to try something. And what if we have the same, but like on the other side? How would that look? I feel like this will like inter interrupt the flow of the <laughs> of the traffic, but. If it looks cool, I don't care. I mean, still gonna be okay, I guess. That might work, so we can get rid of you now. And of you. So if we do something like that, it might actually work. Let's do something like this, maybe? Too close to Xenon. Oh, okay, you, you wanna be mean to me, okay. I get it. So let's go like that. Just hold on one moment. Oh, this is gonna, yeah, this is gonna be very tricky to pull off. And also, I'm not feeling these that much anymore. So maybe the the two stations will be on this side, just facing the mega towers. Or, or, wait a minute. Let's try something else. This coming through here, so this one is fine. Uh, let's see. One second. So, actually, I want this to be on the other side. You'll see in a minute what I have in mind. I'm, I'm, might be a bit too, I might be, I might be a bit crazy, but I have some idea of what I'm doing. Sometimes. <laughs> so if we get this uh, going, uh, I should have not done, deleted that, but in any case, uh, let's go like this. So this is where we had this, right? Okay, so let's go up to here and get rid of you and get rid of you and of you and of you. And maybe you go so we can actually go under with a tunnel over there. So. Wow, a lot of train stuff happening in this episode, man. But I like it. I feel like I'm doing Transfer Tycoon all over again. Oh, by the way, just so you know, come on, do, do it this right. <laughs> what a, it's a bit of a funky curve, but this is what I'm thinking, by the way. Uh, by the way, uh, Sad and I are preparing a new series, which is... I don't know if I'm allowed to say a lot, but it is related to this game, but it's not this game. That's that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, um, oh, wait, I have an idea. Oh, my God, this is going to be amazing. If we can pull this off, this is going to be crazy. All right. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Uh, is this enough room for this? Yes, this might not work. And uh, that's enough room for sure. Let's just put this over there. Oh, uh, will these two line up? Mm, if they don't line up, it might be an issue. Yeah, no, they don't line up. This is what I'm thinking. Just have a like an overpass going through everything and connecting the two stations. Mm, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling this very much. You know what? Let's yeah. Because if it was if it was perfectly straight, maybe, but it isn't, and uh, maybe if it was a bit more uh, curvy, let's actually let's give this. I want to give this a try real quick. So if we go like this, 
and like this. And here, uh, no, we go like this. Uh, that might work, maybe. Hmm. This curve is a bit too sharp, in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna fix it. Uh, this ends there. It's fine. This part right here is the part I don't know. But the cool thing about rail is that uh, we can do this. And now it doesn't look that sharp, actually. It looks perfectly fine. And uh, maybe now we can do this and it will look better. All right, now I'm feeling this a lot more. Look at that intersection, man. That's that's pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, complete this here. So much work to do, and it's just three stations. Look at all the work that we're doing, and uh, it's only four, three stations. So you, sir, are going to turn, let's actually do our all method of curving things, three by three, that should be enough. I, th I feel like this, part is actually longer than that one but let's see how it connects I think it connects yeah no it doesn't connect well that's that's what I thought okay let's try that again I guess the spline system if that's even the thing it's not as exactly it, it doesn't work exactly you see this side it, it's a bit longer than this one so maybe maybe do two See how that looks. And now, let's do that. Let's try that one more time. That might work. And, uh, well, no stations here. I can get rid of that. But that's a pretty, pretty baller train system. I don't know what you guys think, but I, I kind of love it. So, I think it's staying and uh, now we need to connect this hopefully in in a cool we can fix make this make this happen in a can we go under maybe no what if we go a bit like that we can do something like that 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 kind of works too let me look at it from from above. It's very gentle here. It's a bit gentle here. This curve is a bit sharp, but it should be okay. Uh, let's smooth this up a bit more. Actually, no, this one is already smoothed up. So uh, we have two options here. We can make this uh, a bit more gentle. Let's see if we can if we can make it. Uh, we're gonna get crappy graphics here. Uh, that is not nice. I think I prefer a straight line because the the other the other possible way is like do something like this, and this is like obviously not good at all. So you know what? I think I'm gonna keep it straight. And I think my neighbor is just banging against my against my ceiling for some unknown reason. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think that's working good. I feel like this uh, this train system will look a lot better if if we had buildings around. So because right now it's just plain train tracks. You know, hmm. What can we do? I mean, we might as well just zone the middle. Maybe we can zone some commercial here. Uh, actually, let's take a look at our RCA for a moment. What do we need, really? Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of demand for uh, high wealth residential, and uh, maybe our the rich neighborhood would be in the middle, but they don't. Yeah, they wouldn't appreciate the train stations. So, uh, but we can do some medium wealth, uh, medium wealth uh, commercial. Actually, let's do that. And all these are medium wealth, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, let's see. Let's check it out. What am I doing? Yeah, no, this is what I wanted. This one, medium density. Medium density. 
medium density, medium density. This one is already medium density, so it's fine. Let's just zone this here and this here and see how that looks. Oh, there it goes. And we have... Oh, no, this is not density. This is wealth. <laughs> the... Uh, let's actually take a look at our land value. Yeah, everything is medium wealth, so we're good. We're good. I wish uh, we get some more. Let's let's speed things up. Uh, I wish we get more uh, get more uh, density here. Uh, and yeah, let's plop again our our buildings that we demolished. So let's bring back the uh, regional buses, just like that. Uh, where? Can we put this? This probably be a, a good spot for the train. Uh, the oh yeah 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 I forgot about that. <laughs> the depot has has uh the trade depot has the uh, train connection, which I think we want. Now the question is, I mean it's gonna share the main track. I'm not gonna. I don't think it will be a good idea to actually build two tracks. Because eventually they're all going to merge anyways. So, uh... I wish that it, this curve was a bit more... gentle here. I mean, it is, but uh, if this would have started there... Let's just try this for a moment. Uh, what if we did something like this here? This might actually work. Uh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Let's try this one more time from there. That uh, That is a bit more gentle. And I like it, actually. It's like very round and like organic. I love it. Okay, so let's bring back the... Oh, we have some garbage issues. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. We didn't... We didn't... Oh, look at the traffic coming in. We didn't um, allocate any any garbage trucks to here. So, okay, let's let's plop the, the bus terminal once and for all. Uh, I think ride by this uh, mega tower should be fine. Actually, this is where I want the trade depot, so I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to put the trade depot over yonder. Let's get all the add-ons in here. Plop, 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 plop. There we go. Let's put the sign, of course, and let's put the freight rail terminal in the only place that I think we can, which is... This one, I guess, looks nice. Yep. Actually, wait. It's kind of sunken down. Let's put it on the other side. And uh, do we need anything else? Uh, heavy. The past roads entirely and ships resources. Yeah, let's do this. This is important. I uh, wish we could find a better spot for this. Actually, no, that, that actually works nice. Uh, and uh, let's put this again, maybe on the other side, it will look nicer. It's also sunken down even further. Yeah, no, this is, this is awful, man. Okay, let's, let's get rid of you, man. Seriously. What about here, maybe? Because I don't think anything else will fit in there. Oh yeah, this is way better. Oh no, this is this is perfect. I love it. It's staying like that. So we have the trucks, we have this, and garbage. <sighs> yeah, this is a big problem. And we're losing a lot of money all of a sudden. Embezzlement. Do we have security? Yeah, yeah, we have one of the mega towers. Okay. So uh I think well, I think this has been a really long episode. Uh I'm going to put an end and uh, figure out what uh, what the next move will be. Uh, so far, I'm actually quite happy with the results. We need to take care of garbage, so I'm guessing that will happen in the next episode. Remember, uh, Metal and Flats has a lot of uh, 
garbage room. And I think uh, I might even do, kind of want to do a live stream and, and, and put, because we also need a, a recycling center there. So, uh, but yeah, this is, this is how it's looking from down here, in case you were wondering. With the, with the sky bridges at the top. It's pretty nice, if I do say so myself. And uh, I like the double kind of helix kind of thing here. I wish this was more uh, aggressive like the train track is, but uh, but it's still pretty good. I like it. Uh, we need some more trees in here. But yeah, uh, all of that will happen in the next uh, in the next episode. So hope wait, build what? What? Oh, because we have no fire. Well, actually, we do have fire. Do we? Yeah, I think we have Skybridge Station. Wow, can you like... Oh, you can repair this. Okay, that's great. Wow, I didn't know that those caught on fire and it was like you need to repair. Okay, good good stuff, good stuff, man. And we do have the waste reduction level. What the hell? Why do we have so zero garbage cans collected per day? What? What? I don't understand. Garbage? It's oh, it's reduction, but not, but not like like complete elimination, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that will be the topic of our next episode. And like I said, uh, give me ideas and suggestions. Uh, the next city will definitely not involve uh, Cities of Tomorrow, just to mix it up a bit. I'm really looking forward to doing one of those uh, theme cities and maybe do a tourist city with a bunch of casinos and whatnot. I'm planning on adding an airport to this town, as well as Metal and Flats, as well as Dusty Hollow. So maybe that will help. I don't know, but uh, it will be cool because I almost never do airports, and I think it will be a nice, nice change. Look at those ugly lights, and it's still, sorry, it's still, it was still daytime there. But uh, man, that's that is why I want to get rid of the nighttime in this game. But in any case, we have another fire, and I guess our... I don't know, I know that we have a security level somehow, but yeah, this is the end of this episode. Uh, if you do enjoy it, if you did enjoy it, sorry, uh, please uh, don't forget to give it a rating, and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All my commercial buildings are cutting on fire, but uh, hey, those are the rules of SimCity. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a great one, guys.